says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Whew, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. What? Oh, please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. <sighs> hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. <sighs> Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? Is that old fairy tale? <laughs> yeah, like this war. The old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer around here. You think people actually live like this? Huh. <sighs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's got to be another way through. about time. What took you? Hey, look at this. What happened to these poor bastards? Let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and these bodies. Yeah! <sighs> hey, over here. Oh, 
This is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. A side of what? Nothing. Something my ma used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <clears throat> gone after all. Nope. Ain't no way the war's real. How would a nest like this out here? Nope. Maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Okay, you're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! So 
Oh my god. You're on your own now. Hey, we still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. Be what I felt back at the ward. Wait, <coughs> you're from the ward? Shit. <coughs> Maybe Santa's real too. Yeah, it's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. know they've lost, but they won't be down without a fight. You okay? 
Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. Ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. I'm fine, I... <sighs> yes. Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... <sighs> uh, we need to get her to the ward, and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. Gotcha, darling. Don't worry, friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo, Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the Ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> We've just, uh... Now, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Audrey, I... Uh, I've been meaning to tell you something. You sounded so much like Brad just now. Uh, sorry. What did you want to say? Oh, I... I... I uh, saw a bird this morning. A seagull. Or, or something. Oh, that's nice. And that's final. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. You don't have authority over me. 
On this, I do. This town needs you. You can't go wandering off after something that... that might not even exist. Oh, that's rich. What have you been doing the last hundred years then, huh? What the hell are you doing right now? Well, that's different. I'm trying to fix things. Uh... <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know, families fight, Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Ha, huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Quite a few characters around here. I'll warrant you that. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Nosebleeds, headaches, and I worry about worse. Things we can't see so easy. <sighs> it's not like there's a manual. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young, but he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned, just a kid. Ward 13, sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does, and we're damn thankful. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. All right, then. Shoot. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk, and some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a big world out there. Huh. <laughs> Not my way. And you want to be careful what you wish for, traveler. Not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number, but I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Oh, nothing too dangerous. I've got to marshal my resources, and then we'll get into it in earnest. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. i tell you a story. I 
see you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you wanted to. Yep, that makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Until next time. Something with a longer barrel. Well, ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. Ha, <laughs> I'm just pulling you. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you're his problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. Ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. I should know. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Dogs. We took what we wanted and killed anyone who crossed us. It was a doggy dog world back then. We all did what we had to to survive. Uh, things might be different now, but a lot of folks can't chew a path out of the old ways. Ain't Maybe probably never will. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, uh lacking, to say the least. If he asks, me. you tell him I gave you this. Sometime. Uh, no charge. Ah. Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. Hmm. <laughs> Did Bo send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. Tell you what, I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. There. That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Uh, let me save you some time so you don't keep nattering on. We used to live in that building over there. Then a stranger came. We called them the Wanderer. You might have noticed everyone gets a handle here. Anyway, they show up and stop the route. Now we live in these buildings here. That cleared up for you? And me? 
I keep it real simple. Less to worry about that way. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? I am already regretting all of this. Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? Rigs, and no worries. There was a time when helping each other survive was all we had left. Around here? We don't forget those days if we can help it. Your friend's gonna be all right, by the way. I've seen Weka pull out of worse. What were you doing out there? Uh, you don't mind me asking? Really? <laughs> What'd you hear exactly? Well, you found it. That's what these folks were for me, anyway. Couple times over. They'll do for you too, if you've got the hands and heart to join them. Given how you've been watching over the little scuffler in the med bay there. I'd say you'll feel right at home. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? I hear you. Take care of whatever you need to. But come back soon, huh? <laughs> 